Hi guys, welcome to yet another audio video and I'll be reading Exodus 7 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that ye send the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh should, shall not hearken unto you, that I may lay my hand upon Egypt, and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, also the land of Egypt, by great judgments. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt, and bring out the children of Israel from among them. And Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded them, so did they. And Moses was four score years old, and Aaron four score and three years old, when they speak unto Pharaoh. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, say, Shew a miracle for you. Then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt. They also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents, but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had said. And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened, he refuseth to let the people go. Get thee unto Pharaoh in the morning, lo, he goeth out unto the water, and thou shalt stand by the river's brink against he come. And the rod which was turned to a serpent shall thou take in thine hand. And thou shalt say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews hath sent me unto thee, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, hitherto thou wouldest not hear. Thus saith the Lord, In this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. And the fish that is in the river shall die, and the river shall stink, and the Egyptians shall loathe the water, and the water of the river. Loathe to drink, sorry, the water of the river. My apologies. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, and stretch out thine hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants, and all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died, and the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river, and there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments, and Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Neither did he hearken unto them, as the Lord had said. And Pharaoh turned and went into his house. Neither did he set his heart to this also. And all the Egyptians did roam about the river for water to drink, for they could not drink of the water of the river. And seven days were fulfilled. After that the Lord had smitten 
the river. So, in this chapter, what is of significance to me is that though God had caused Aaron and Moses to perform miracles and signs of wonders, the Egyptian sorcerers and magicians were also able to imitate these signs and miracles. And that speaks deeply to what actually happens even in today's society. We see God doing wonders and we see where the devil uses his servants to mimic and imitate the works of God, causing many to stray. And that just goes to show that we ought to know God for ourselves because Moses and Aaron knew the God that they were serving. They knew what signs and wonders they were doing. And the children of Israel ought to have known also. However, the Egyptians, they would not know because they believe in their sorcery and their magic. And that just goes to show that sometimes the devil will do signs and wonders to gain favor in your eyes and to get your attention so you ought to know god for yourself in order to determine whether the signs and wonders and the giftings that you are receiving are actually of god or if they're actually just mimics and imitations received from Satan himself, the devil. So guys, guard your hearts, guard your minds, guard your thoughts, okay? Guard your spiritual being. Ark in your heart unto God. Amen. Alright guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification so you know whenever a new video is posted okay guys and don't forget to share with your friends and family also have yourselves a blessed day bye